they are just absolutely engulfing that thing. Wonder Bread Widowmaker Tungsten with the beaver tail plastic from Liquid Willow Cat. Beautiful crappie, look at that. Trying to make a bright and early crappie bite happen. Sun has not even risen yet. I'm just fishing the upper part of the water column. First one. Still trying to get set up still. I want to set a tip down for these two. But there's a nice little crappie. All catch and release today. Another nice crappie, there it is. Widowmaker tungsten, liquid willow cat. I tried some bigger baits like spoons and stuff, but thinking it would get their attention more in these low light conditions, but they just want the, the tungsten jig. Smaller presentation, it just is a little more natural for them to come slurp it up during this midwinter bite, especially. They don't even mess with the minnows on the tip downs either. I'm not sure if the screen shows up on the flasher, but this is the tough thing about deciphering what's just bait fish and shad swimming through and what are the actual crappies look like. Because there's marks all over down there, but. Not all of them seem to be like game fish that are actually interested in my bait. There we go. There's a nice little crappie. Super suspended in the water column. Come on. Oh, he wanted it. Oh my God. <laughs> Did you see that thing race up for it? That was insane. I mean, it's, it's down there. Holy cow. Lead the old players on this one. Bunch, bunch of more fish down there. I'm not sure if they're shad or crappie, but. Oh, there's a crappie on me right now. Come on. There's a little bit nicer one. Gorgeous crappie on this Sunday morning. Nice fish, send that one back down. And there's another one waiting for me. All it'll try to do every now and then is charge up that jig. Even though it's light out here, it's still pretty dark down in the water. So maybe if I brighten this bad boy up, it'll draw something in. Let's see if that makes a difference. Come on. There's a nicer one. Yeah. What I'm finding out for these crappies, it's tempting to jig off the bottom and then like wait till you see marks and then reel up to it. But the reality is the fish's eyes are on top of their head. They're always seeing up. So I'm finding it to be more effective to stay jigging up high in the water column, keeping my bait up, you know, just a couple feet below the ice. And then when those fish swim through underneath it, they're more likely to see it and come racing up to check it out. Otherwise, if you're always below them, yeah, you might mark them as they swim through, but by the time you reel up to it, they're past it and facing the other way. And then if anything, I'll drop it down to the bottom if I see marks off the bottom like I just did. Let's see if I haven't gotten one of those fish off the bottom to eat it. They're probably smaller perch or bluegill, I would imagine, I don't know. Oh, Gosh, 
Dang, man, that one was right under the ice. It's tough catching them when they're right below the ice like that because, I mean, I set the hook and he probably hit the bottom of the ice. It's a fine line of you want him to, you want to bury that hook, but then you almost want him to be able to run a little bit before they're thrashing right at the bottom of the hole. That was a good one. I find, I tend to notice that the bigger fish are higher up in the water column. Oftentimes right below the ice like that one. Oh my gosh, he just came charging in. Here we go. This one's interested. Oh yeah, good fish. There's the one I've been wanting right there. Awesome fish right there. Let's go. Crappies are definitely the coolest fish to chase with electronics. No doubt about it. Oh, my nose is runny here. It's a little windy and cold out, but catching fish is a blast. Got another one. Here's a cadence that I found to kind of get him to go. I kind of lift it up high and slowly drop it back down just so I'm not twitching it and jigging it in just one part of the water column. So I'm down low and I just kind of lift it up a couple feet and then just do those same slow hops back down. Just keeping that bait active in all parts of the water column to like get a mark to call them in. Every now and then I'll just do some big hops like this too. Just to make some noise down there, hopefully get their attention. The other thing, if those fish are swimming just a little bit below the ice, like the cone angle of your flasher unit is not very large at that point. You know, you have a small, viewing area below the ice so another reason to stay up and just jig up there because you're not always going to mark them for very long when they swim through especially if they're in a feeding mood and they're chasing shad like they're not sticking around very much oh gosh this guy's fired up little johnson he missed it once, I dropped it right back down to him and he slammed it. It is crazy, I have two minnows out on a tip down. I have minnows out on a tip down and a arctic warrior and they have not gotten touched. I don't know what it is, just midwinter bite, these fish are not looking for giant meals. They're liking this white plastic on a tungsten jig, that's for sure. Oh gosh, I've got some right below the ice looking at me. I feel like this is a nice fish. Oh, he didn't commit to it. I think he's still down there though. Come on. There we go. There's a nice crappie. Beautiful fish. Oh yeah. Nice. Gosh, I love catching crappies. Just inhaling it. See ya. Another one. 
geez, they are just absolutely destroying it. I mean, it's gone. Holy smokes, look at that bad boy. Just jumbos. Beautiful crap. Look at that. Oh gosh. That one just came up and ham dogged it. And it's a nice one. I don't really know what ham dogged means, but apparently that's a word. Heck yeah. Come on, big mark. Oh no. Dang it. He's still down there. He must have not realized that he even got hooked. Oh dang it, I lost him again. That's a bomb ski. Every single fish in this video so far I caught on this exact plastic and jig. Like I have not even changed the plastic, which is incredible. The fact that I haven't had to mess with putting wax worms on with cold fingers or even rebaiting. I mean, it's one thing to not have to rebait, but I would have thought that I'd have to you know, replace the plastic at least once considering how many fish I caught, but nope, it's it's held up. Shout out to Liquid Willow Cat. It's my new favorite plastic, no doubt. The fact that it's not even nine o'clock yet is awesome. Um, <laughs> the fact that I can't drill any other holes besides this one I could kick through though, and that it's a little chilly out here, and I'm hungry. I might call it call it a day. Head back and um, it's definitely slowed down. That morning crappie bite, mornings and evenings are definitely um, definitely the ideal crappie bites. So that'll do it. Good stuff.